Ah, in the name of Jesus, powers are sent to disorganize my life. You are a liar. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Powers are sent to padlock my destiny. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Powers are sent to padlock my destiny. Die, 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 die. In the name of Jesus. Powers are sent to padlock my destiny. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die by fire. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Powers working hard to pull me down. Expire. In the name of Jesus, powers working hard to pull me down. Expire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father and the Lord used to say and still says, new level, new devil. When this church has come to this new level now it is, there is a new devil. And we are going to pray against those devils now. Powers are signed to pull this church down. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to pull this church down. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers are signed to pull this church down. Die, die, die. Jesus powers are sent to put this church down. Die, 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 die. In the mighty name of Jesus, powers are sent to put MFM the rest of UK slow down. Die by fire, 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 die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every spiritual rag of my life. Catch fire, burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual of my life, catch fire, burn to ashes. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Every war against my testimony scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. Every war against my testimony scattered by fire. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And so shall it be in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we bless your holy name, for you are always faithful. The Bible says when we are faithful, you remain faithful, for you cannot deny yourself. We decree and declare that unto you we have come. According to your word, we say that unto you shall the garden of your people be. We pray that by the mercies of God in Christ Jesus, by the blood of Jesus that we get better than on our account than the blood of heaven, that each of our presence and our persons here gathered unto you, we be acceptable unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That our life, O oh Father God, we even be a sweet smelling savour unto you, our Lord and our God, in the name of Jesus. As we have arrived at this point in time to look into your word, Father, let our hearts heart be open unto you in your grace. Let your word find entrance into our heart in the mighty name of Jesus. And let it bring forth fruit, meat of repentance and of salvation. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Every evil habit, be it of witchcraft or powers of humanity that is advanced to our garden, advanced to our congregation, advanced to the times of preaching, advanced to the times of praises and worship, we come against you by the blood of Jesus. We come against you by the blood of Jesus. We come against you by the blood of Jesus. Every masquerading power, hiding under individuals, hiding under persons, to disrupt some church service, we rebook you, 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 we rebook you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today we want to look at a sermon which is titled, The Demon, The Demon, The Demon Called Average. Say with me, The Demon Called Average. The Demon Called Average. Certain demons have names, and those that we don't know their names, we describe them by their fruit. The Bible says, by their fruit you shall know them. So we have demon of course. Amen. Demon of fornication. Amen. Demon of uh, unruliness. Amen. Demon of lawlessness. Demon of addiction. 
But today we want to look at the demon called what? Average. Average. Amen. I will start by giving you a definition. If you happen to find it in dictionary, lucky you. I didn't go there to find it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Insightfully defined, average means the bottom of the top or the top of the bottom. And you will do well to memorize this and let this sink into you. Average means the top of the bottom or the bottom of the top. So if you are an average person, it means you are at the top of the bottom pack. Or you are at the bottom of the top pack. Praise the name of the Lord. In other words, you are not outstanding. In other words, there is nothing uncommon about you. In other words, there is nothing unique about you. In other words, there is nothing glorious to be said about you. In other words, there is nothing remarkable to be said about you. In other words, there is nothing inspiring about you. In other words, there is nothing motivating about you. In other words, there is nothing of a leadership quality and attributes about you. In other words, you are just, you are just there. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> During the time of COVID lockdown, when so I watched one uh, video on uh, WhatsApp, it was a Catholic priest. Uh, it wasn't whether COVID lockdown or so, during the day we are forcing them to go and get their PVC. So the Catholic Church in Nigeria, they said if you don't have PVC, you will not give it mass. And some people in the church were looking to, 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 to trying to protest. So the Reverend Father came out, he said, you get your PVC, otherwise you will not enter the church. And he said this to them. He said, if we don't miss your, in, your, if we don't miss your impact, we will not miss your absence. Praise the name of the Lord. So in other words, whether they come, they don't come. It's, just, it's not consigned. So there are people in church, if we don't miss your impact, we will not miss your absence. And like I said, and I didn't script it, it just came to my mind during that praise and worship. New level, new devil. When we are smaller, when we are struggling, when we are pleading, as we are still pleading and begging God for membership, we had certain problems that we are not open to. But now God has raised us to this modern, modest level, new devil. As God takes us another level, new devil. As God takes us yet another level, new devil. So we must recognize the new devil with every devil, every level, and deal with it. Praise the name of the Lord. And deal with it. Praise the name of the Lord. So average, the top of the bottom, and the bottom of the top. Amen. Average is where we, when I say we, I mean humanity. When I say we, I mean you and I. When I say we, I mean every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Whether born again, born against, or will never be born again. Praise the name of God, because there are people who will never be born again. You say, how do I know this in these scriptures? The Bible says, narrow is the gate that leads to life. Broad is the way that leads to death. And many are following it. Many. Which means those that we go to hell are much more in number than those that we go to heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So average is where you and I, minus me, say minus you, has crawled up to after humanity hit rock bottom from the fall of Adam. Nothing in the scriptures suggests that God created us to be average. God never created us to be average. We became average after the fall of Adam and we crawled from the pit. Actually, all this talk about evolution coming from Abe, that was what the devil thought we would become when Adam fell. So he already issued it as a breaking news. And he could not record it when it didn't happen. So in spite of Adam fall and Eve fall, and they began to dress up themselves in fig leaves, they didn't turn to Abe, but the devil has already issued the news. So the news continued to propagate to our present generation that men came from Abe. That was the devil's anticipation that with the fall of Adam, they will disintegrate into Abe level. But God had better plans for his love for us. Praise the name of the Lord. So how do we know that God did not create us to be average? Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Let's quickly look at the scriptures. You do well to turn to your Bible. If you have your iPhone or your Android, I will excuse you for today, but there is no holy phone. Amen. 
Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Does this sound like an average person? Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody that is going to have dominion. Somebody that is created in the image and the likeness of God himself. He cannot be an average. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The same Genesis 27 to 31 says, So God created man in his own image. So the earlier verse we have written has just talked about what God says, let us do. But somebody could say, hey, he said it, but he didn't do it. Verse 27, he said, no, he, he said it, and he has done it as he said it. So it was not, it did not die as a proposition. The idea to create God, create man in our own image, did not remain on the shelf. It was fully executed. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Say created. Which means past tense. He has already done it. God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him. So emphasis. Created man in his own image. In the image of So he said it twice. So in case you didn't hear the first time, you will hear the second time. Praise the name of the Lord. Male and female created he them. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 28. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Praise the name of the Lord. And God said, Behold, I have given you every heart bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for me. Verse 30. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And verse 31. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Let's fast track to Genesis 9 6. Genesis 9 6. Genesis 9 6. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Genesis 9 6 says, Whosoever sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. Why? For in the image of God made he man. Man here means male and female. So we are in the image of God, we are not average. Deuteronomy 28, 13. We are just laying the foundation before we move on. Laying the, you know, say your neighbor, you know. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 28, 13. Deuteronomy 28, 13. Deuteronomy 28, 13. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. The 9, 6, sorry. Deuteronomy, yes, 28, 13. Praise the name. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 139, 14. Psalm 139, 14. Psalm 139, 14. Amen. 139, 14. 139, 14. He says therein, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul know it right well. So this psalmist, who is David, he realized that he was not averagely made. He's not a made in Aba or Chinese or what made in Japan. He is fearfully and wonderfully made. Some years ago, I was curious on this scripture, so I was seeing my GP back then. I don't use her anymore. So I said, Madam GP, how many specialist areas are there in medicine? 
concerning the human body. And this is an elderly Asian woman over sister. She says she doesn't know that the human body is so complex that, in fact, more specialism in medicine is erupting out. Do you know there's a, a particular area of medicine that takes care of your, your toenails and your nails, whether they call them or whatever they call them. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are so fearfully, wonderfully made that we are too complex. So where does that lead us to? We are not average. At least not in the original intention of God. Not in the original agenda of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So that led down. What are the characteristics of an average person? Listen attentively and see which one resonates with you. What are the characteristics of an average person? Mediocrity. Somebody that does not measure up. Somebody that just gets by. Somebody that has no divine purpose. You have no divine purpose in going to sleep. You have no divine purpose in waking up. You have no divine purpose in eating. You have no divine purpose in looking for a new job. You have no divine purpose in looking for promotion. You have no divine purpose in stocking money in your bank account. You have no divine purpose in talking on the phone. You have no divine purpose in what's happening. You have no divine purpose in social media. Somebody without a divine purpose is an average person. What is the characteristics of an average person? Somebody that is gifted but is hiding and not manifesting his or her gift. What is the characteristics of an average person? Somebody that is supposed to be on top but is never there. We call it the spirit of nearly there but never there. Nearly there but never there. When we were little children we used to hunt birds, they say nearly cannot kill a bird. We will get catapult and then we will shoot. Hey, nearly! Nearly! And then your little friend, you say, nearly cannot kill a bird. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Characteristics of an average person. Someone who is living in the neighborhood of failure and complacency. You are living in the neighborhood of failure and complacency. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are not talking about physical neighborhood. You can live in Hackney and still be not an average person. Say amen. Amen. Who is an average, what is the characteristics of an average person? Somebody who shies away from responsibility and excellent pursuits. We have been chorusing it, singing it, begging it, pleading it. This is a new church. It gives you opportunity for serving. Some people put their hand under the seat and sit on their hand. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Characteristics of an average person. Somebody who barely harnesses their potential to shine and succeed. Characteristics of an average person. Somebody who has skills, but the skills are dormant and inactive for lack of use. Who is a characteristic an average person? Characteristics of an average person. Somebody who lacks ambition. Somebody who lacks inspiration. Somebody who lacks aspiration. Somebody who lacks goals. We are saying that this is the year by the mouth of the prophet of the Lord, that this is the year of our glorious manifestation. Some of you have no goals. You think it will just automatically come here. Yeah. We will get to the 31st December, God forbid. No glorious manifestation for some people. No glorious manifestation for some people. Because some people are using prayers to dodge what they ought to do. They are using prayers to cover up from what God has assigned them to do. Now, now ask this question everywhere I go and get the opportunity to talk to people. I say, those of you who are Christians, have you seen a Christian, a student, then he gets to the examination hall and they give her examination paper, amen? And then the investigator says, don't start, you will start in two minutes and the paper is two hours. And then the investigator says, now you can start. And that Christian puts her hand on the page of paper. <laughs> Call him prayer point. We call him prayer point until after two hours, then they will pass the paper. Amen. Is the person going to pass? Amen. Is the person going to pass? But then some people will tell you prayer answers what? Why didn't it answer that one? You see, some things that are philosophically, they sound well, they are not scriptural. They are not scriptural. I'll give you another illustration. Who knows David, King David in the Bible? He's one of the few people that God testified to. God said, this is a man after my heart. Which means, I love this one like no is more. And I want to tell you good news. God also loves you no is more. 
But he loves you not by your own activity and accomplishment. He loves you under the grace of what Jesus Christ accomplished. But God loved David because of his own endeavor. And that's the difference between the Old Testament people and us in the New Testament. We New Testament people, we are a wolf, a wolf people. We are riding on the back of what Jesus has done. We are wolf, a wolf people. Free bee, free lunch. They give you free lunch, you want free breakfast. They give you free breakfast, you want free dinner. They give you free dinner, you say free snacks. Praise the name of the Lord. They send you, come meet me. Praise the name of the Lord. So now David is a man after God's heart, so he's beloved of God. Now David was a very prayerful man, yes or no? In fact, personally, <laughs> except something that God has in mind that I don't know. I don't think I can get to the level of David's prayerfulness. Amen. But David went to war, yes or no? He did not use prayer to cover the war. He did not use the prayer to remove the war. He did not say, send angels, send them. No. In fact, one of his generals said to him when he was uh, running around looking for Uras, why he said, David, we have got into the city now. You better come. Otherwise, if I take the city, I will name it after myself. So, which means, we are your arm and come to the Lord for this thing. Prayer is not a cover up for what you ought to do. In fact, there's a sermon which says, when prayer becomes sin, when prayer what? Become sin. So don't let people fool you that a prayer can do everything. It, there, is a, there, is, there is a contest in which that is true. There is a contest in which that is true. Amen. Characteristics of an average person. Somebody who has fallen victim to and is comfortable with lousiness. Characteristics of an average person. You have fallen victim to lousiness and you are comfortable with lousiness, ruining your potentials. Characteristics of a lazy person or somebody who is average, not a lazy person, somebody who is average. Somebody who suffers from not realizing that life is short. Somebody who suffers from not realizing that life is short. It was the letter uh, uh, Renan Bonke that says, we have an eternal message of salvation, but we don't have eternity to preach it. We don't have eternity to preach it. Time is running out for you to take the message to your neighbor. Time is running out for you to be used by God to win souls. Time is running out for you to prop up yourself in the things of God. Time is running out for you to come out from the average and become who God wants you to be. Characteristics of an average person. Somebody who has a morbid fear of taking informed risk. Somebody who has a morbid fear of taking informed risk. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Characteristics of an average person. Somebody who is never original or true to their divinely or made order. Characteristics of an average person. Somebody who is a prolific procrastinator. Prolific procrastinator. There is a way to eat an elephant. You eat it bit by bit. Bit by bit. So that thing you're procrastinating on, can you not break it down into good sizes and eat it bit by bit, bit by bit? You see how ants, ants can devour a dead chicken, as tiny as they are, bit by bit, bit by bit. Praise the name of the Lord. Characteristics of an average person, somebody who is a man pleaser, obsessed with how they will be seen, how they will be seen, how they will be seen. Praise the name of the Lord. That means their reputation is far removed from their character. There is no convergence of their reputation and their character. Jesus calls them white sepulchre. Painted white, but inside of it are the bones of dead men. Obsessed with pleasing men. Obsessed with how you will be seen instead of how God sees you. 
So these are not exhaustive, but I guess we get the gist. So now let's move on to how to overcome averageness. But before we go on to that, let's look at what is Christianity like when it is average. Because when we have a collection of average people, it accumulates into average Christianity. When we have a collection of average congregants, it accumulates into average church. And God forbid that this church should be average in the name of Jesus. This church is not destined to be average. It's not destined to be average. So if you have sworn that you will not be other than average, as the GO will say, that means the year is not for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, it's not for you. We will part as amicably as we met. Amen. What is an average church? Jesus reveals it in Revelation chapter 3, verse 15 to 16. He said, I know thy works, works of averageness. You are neither cold nor hot. You are the bottom of the top and the top of the bottom. I would rather prefer that you are actually cold or that you are actually hot. So I will know what we are to put you and know how to deal with you. But you are the bottom of the top and the top of the bottom. You are neither a bird, you are neither an animal. You are a bat. I will spew you out of my mouth. An average Christian, you can't tell whether they are a believer. You can't tell whether they are a believer. They are like hermaphrodites. You can't count on them, on anything. You can't discount them at the same time. My master teacher, I'm gonna used to be a boy, and then I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> when those of us that misbehave in class, he say you are a non-entity. Praise the name of the Lord. It was after I grew up more that I now understood what entity means, and then when you put on to it, to be a non-entity. Then he used to sign like a big grammar. We only laugh at the bigness of the grammar without even knowing the implication of what he was saying. Amen. So how to overcome averageness? One, and this is the key one, be true to yourself whether you have the demon called average. Now you may not have the demon in all holisticness, but you might have it in some average areas of your life. You might have the demon called average in your prayer life. You might have the demon called average in your ambition. You might have the demon called average in your aspiration. You might have the demon called average in your relationship. You might have the demon called average in your workplace. You might have the demon called average in one area of your life or the other. Or you might have the demon called average in many areas of your life. The Bible says, judge yourself. Because if you judge yourself, you will not be judged. So I say to you and to myself, be true to yourself whether you have the demon called average or not. Because the beginning of a solution to a problem is first identifying the problem. They say a problem known is a problem half solved. Next, in no particular order now, Accept that being average is a sin. Accept that being average is a sin. You see some people, they say, hey, that's how I'm wired. Hey, that's how God made me. You are a liar. Either you're a liar or you're deceived. For the vast majority of us, if not every one of us on the surface of the earth, we are not exactly what God made us. Because after God made us in the Garden of Eden, sin entered. So we are what, what we are now is a mixture of what God made us and the implication and the consequences and the effects of sin in our human nature. The only person that knows how we will be or we are or ought to be if there was no sin is Adam and Eve who lived before sin. So what we present now is not exclusively how God made us. It's not exclusively how God makes us. He didn't make us with anger, with jealousy, with hatred, with insecurity, with vainglory. That's how I'm wired. You have been rewired. You have been rewired. So be conscious of that and identify the wiring part of your life that we are not that are not defined and begin to remove them and redress them and get God to rewire them. Don't be complacent. Don't settle for the average. 
Don't say that is how I'm made. Who made you? How? That thing you are saying. In fact, in most cases, when people say that I'm high, this is why I'm high. That's how I am. They are talking about something that is average, which they want to condone. They always use that phrase, to condone something. That phrase is never used about something that is excellent. It is used to, that is, leave me alone, no trouble me. That's what that phrase is most of, often used for. Points to overcome averageness. Pray against it and seek the grace to live to the fullest. John 10, 10, 10 B. Who knows the scriptures? John chapter 10, verse 10 B. Amen. 10, 10 B. Amen. He says there, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That is 10 A. 10 B says, I am come, that is Jesus, that they, that is you and I, might have life, and that they, that is you and I, might have it more abundantly. This is not talking just about materialism. More abundantly means glorious manifestation. Glorious words, manifestation. Holiness plus wealth and riches. Abraham was rich, but he was a friend of God. Amen. And he cannot be a friend of God if he was not holy. However we define it and however we contextualize it. Yes or no? Praise the name of the Lord. What is the next way to overcome averageness? Realize who is enormously big inside of you. First John chapter 4, verse 4. He says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So why can the greater in him that is in you? And you are content to be average. You are content to be average. Is that not a sin? Is that, bringing, is that not bringing God's name into this repeat? How to overcome averageness. Decisively pray and determine to be an uncommon person. Philippians chapter 3, verses 10 to 15. Determine to be an uncommon person. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. How to overcome averageness. Always see possibilities and not impossibilities. Always see possibilities and not impossibilities. Always see possibilities and not impossibilities. The Bible says, with God, all things are possible. Hold it there. Say to your neighbor, hold it there. And then the scripture continues. He said, to them that believe God, to them that believe God, all things are possible. So it's not only with God that all things are possible. It is also you on the condition that you believe God. Are all things possible? And of course, those things that are possible have to be in the will of God. So I don't say you should jump into the, into the ocean and try to swim to America instead of getting a ticket. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. Hallelujah. Amen. Actions on how to overcome averageness. Plan with focus and set smart goals. Smart means specific, measurable, achievable, realistic time frame. We will talk on planning in our next opportunity of a sermon because I promised you that, but I wanted to ginger us with so that when we get to planning, some people are not bored. Except if you are those people that have, that have eaten the witchcraft of averageness. But you will vomit that witchcraft in Jesus' name. Amen. Avoid being a copycat or a rubber stamp. Think positive, Philippians 4, 8. To avoid averageness. How to overcome averageness. Refuse to be a mere echo and conformist. Be a voice, not an echo. Be a voice, a voice of reason, a voice of rationale, a voice of encouragement. Even a voice of informed and reasonable dissent. I know green with reasons. I know green. Praise the name of the Lord. You know Thomas, hmm. the disciples, 11 or 10 or so, they say Jesus came here. He said, I know Greek. Praise the name of the Lord. Me, I know Greek. Unless I see him with my eye. In fact, not even with him. When I see him with my eye finish, I will put my finger inside that place. Then I go Greek. And Jesus came. When Jesus came, this same Thomas, is the first disciple to say, my Lord and my God. 
my Lord and my God. So that person that is saying I know greed doesn't mean that he's not born again. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It doesn't necessarily mean so. How to overcome averageness, develop Bible addiction, and do things God's way. If we must manifest gloriously in this year, we must develop Bible addiction and do things God's way. Praise the name of the Lord. And do things God's way. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with praying and ended up with praying. Prayer is the master key. Amen. So if there is master key, there will be boy boy key, yes or no? Amen. So there is other key as well. When you use the master key, you bring other key as well. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. How to overcome averageness. Be diligent in service and seek excellence in all your endeavors. Seek excellence in all your endeavors. Reward of excelling. Everything comes with a reward though. Even laziness comes with a reward. Everything comes with a reward. Refusal to be born again comes with a reward. It comes with a reward, the reward of hair fire. The word of a son in Proverbs 22, 29 says, Seest thou a man or a woman or a child diligent in his business, not my business, so your own business. Some of you want to be moderator and critic of pastor. Is that one your business? Your own business you won't do. Your own business, it's other people's business you want to master. Your own business, do you won't do your own business. The Bible says, see it is someone who is diligent in his business. Not busy, buddy. He shall not stand before mean people. That is, he will not be in the company of average people. He will be in the company of nobles. He will be in the pumping of those who say, and determine what happens in community. Let's rise up as we take a few prayer points. And by the way, if you've been touched by this someone or the other, and you wish to engage better, I'm available all the time. Like I say, if you're sleeping, then I'm likely to be sleeping. If you're awake, I'm likely to be awake because the picking that say, Mama, no go sleep. The picking do go stay awake. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's rise up as we take these three prayer points. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, arise. Do not let me succumb to average in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, arise. Do not let me succumb to the average in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, arise. Do not let me succumb to average. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Next one is like this and lifting comfort, lifting uh, attentively. Comfort. That wants to kill my confidence. That wants to kill my confidence. Die in the name of Jesus. Comfort that wants to kill my confidence. Die by fire. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The spirit of same sin. Last year and this year. I am not your candidate. Die in the name of Jesus. The spirit of same sin last year and this year. I am not your candidate. Die by fire. Die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this prayer point seriously, especially in this day of social media where every one of us is has one handle or the other. Company of unprofitable friends. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Company of unprofitable friends, scatter by fire, 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 scatter by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pray this one prophetically. You, my divine destiny, whether stolen or covered, hear in the word of the Lord. 
appear by fire in the name of Jesus. You, my divine destiny, whether stolen or covered, here in the word of the Lord, appear by fire, appear by fire, appear by fire, appear by fire, appear by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This year of glorious manifestation, I shall not be missing in the roll call. In the name of Jesus, this is your glorious manifestation. I shall not be missing in the roll call. In the name of Jesus.